Hey everyone, in this session we are going to talk about how we can perform forecasting in Power BI. First of all, let me explain you the real life scenario. So basically, I have taken an example of a COVID-19 patient's data, where I have date-wise data for one of the state. Now, I have the data for month of March and April and I want to forecast the data for month of May. So how can I achieve this requirement? So let me show you step by step procedure. First of all, go to the Power BI report. Now here I have the date wise data. So GJ means Gujarat is the state where I have the count for each individual date. First of all, let me add the line chart over here. So I am adding line chart. Now we need to drag our field. Like I want to represent the data by date. So I will add date as axis and values as gj. And make sure that I use the summarization as sum. And now I want to show directly date wise data. So this is my actual data where I have the COVID-19 patients data by particular date. Right now, I have the data till 29th of April 2020. Now, now, I want to predict the data for the month of May. So, for that, what you need to do is first of all go to this analytics option. Now, you can see that forecast option available over here. Just expand that option. Now, you need to add your forecast from here. So, just click on the add button from here. Now, you need to name your forecast. By default, it is showing the 10 points, but you can change based on your requirements. So the points are like this. So basically, I want to predict the data for next one month. So I am selecting as one month. Right now, ignore last. I don't want to ignore any last any month. Now, confidence interval. So how much confidence you need in your forecast data? So basically I need the forecast with 99% of accuracy. So I am setting that as 99% accuracy. You can set the different options from here. Now seasonality. This is the most important concept in forecasting. So let's say for an example, how many data points do you have in your forecast? You need to set it to here. So let's say I have set here one month, which means that in month of May, I have 30 days or 31 days. So basically seasonality would be 31 data points over here because in May, I want to predict the forecast for 31 days. So I set as 31 right now just click on apply button. You can see that the forecasting is showing like this. Let's see our data. So let's say for an example for 29th of April the cases are 417. Now if I'm hovering over here for month of May so you can see that it is showing us the forecast like this. So upper bound would be 644 and lower bound would be minus 129. So basically it is showing the forecast in terms of upper bound and lower bound and with a straight line as well. If you want to see the data, just click on your graph and click on show as table. So you can see that the forecast data for entire month of May. So this is the forecast value and this is the confidence about the high bound and this is the confidence about the low bound. So this is the predictability and possibility uh, that has been showing for the COVID-2019 patients for month of May for one of the state, right? Now let's say if we want to filter by how many patients have been recovered or how many patients uh, has been increased. So we can filter it via state as well. So let me just go back and let me just add status as a filter over here. So let's say for an example, if we want to see the confirmed cases, I'm clicking on confirm. So you can see the prediction of confirmed cases over here. Now let me show the recovered cases. So this is the possibility of recovered cases uh, in May. So this is how you can also filter your forecast data, right? Now let's check some formatting properties of forecast. So from here you can change the color for your forecast. So uh, uh, this is how you can change the color. 
now from here you can set the line style that is dotted solid or dashed i selected as uh, solid at this moment transparency of your background you can set it from here and confidence band means you can set the confidence band as line or a line uh, or a fill so it is showing line like this or if you don't want a line you can set as a fill it looks great then this is the transparency option right so this is how this is the basic idea of forecasting in power bi you can also perform the forecasting for your sales data hope this is clear for you now and you get an idea about how power bi forecast the data if you have any question you can share your opinion with me in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp also if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me stay safe have a great day goodbye